Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part eight, and hopefully the last one. This is layer one, which is going to be the top layer. I've learned that you need to work from the top to the bottom, or at least for me, worked out the easiest. In the last video, I made a contour of the whole thing, and I also added a eight-sided pentagon just to add a little detail to it. So. We need to make a duplicate of our border. So we're going to control D and make a duplicate and move it over. And we can move it over pretty good. And that's why I like working in the center of the page. Because you can uh, put it right back. You know, it doesn't have to be, you don't have to do anything. So we got, we need one more copy. So one of these is going to be your bottom layer. And just to show you what layer one, which will be the top layer, will fill it in. That's what your top layer is going to look like. It's going to have some wood showing, which will be cool. Uh, thinner contour, thicker contour. So, we need a copy of this. And I'm going to control D and make a duplicate of it. And I'm going to move it over here. So that's our top layer. Actually... I'd go ahead and take one of these over here. This is going to be your very bottom layer. This is going to be the wood that's going to hold everything together. And this is why I decided to make this video because I found some easier ways to contour stuff. So we're going to open up the contour docker. And I'm going to contour this guy. I need to break it apart. I'm Select everything, go to Arrange, and ungroup all objects. Take this inside. Let's do it again. Oh, it's grabbing the outside. So what you can do, go to Arrange, Order, and put it in the back of the page. And then that way, that won't interfere. We're going to contour to the inside this time. And you kind of got to look at it. You don't want too many, too, too small of joints. But what we can do is now we can nudge this over out of the way. Well, let's do this. Let's go to range, break contour apart. We only need that inside one. Okay. Now we're going to go and go and do the other ones. So we're going to get this shape right here. They must be grouped together. Get this shape right here. Contour it. Go up to range. Break contour apart and move that new contour out. Now we need to do two more. One of them is this shape right here. And I did group everything together the other earlier. So we need to get this shape right here. Contour it. Go up to range or control K, grab the inside one, put it over. Now we need to contour, that's our new shape in the center. Grab it and move it over. That's all we need. You can delete this one, but instead of deleting it, let's just put it way up to the top of the page. Now, for a second, I'm going to group all these together. Control G. I'm going to bring in a cross index line and put P because I want this object right in the. I want to grab that right. Well, let me move it off that line. And I want to move this right to the center. And you see where I'm going? This will be a lot easier than contour them individually. Control D and make a duplicate of it. Move your rotation in the center. It doesn't look like it is, but we'll double check it. It is 22.5 degrees. Control D, 45 degrees. Sometimes Corel does it, sometimes it doesn't. 
and I kind of got to slow down so my laptop won't get burned out. Now we're going to bring in this one. This is layer two. We're already we're already in the second layer. That fast. Control D and make a duplicate of it. And then I'm going to control G and make it a group. So let's put these out of the way a little bit. And let's start working on the next layer. Now you see those three pieces are grouped. Let's contour them all at one time. Break contour apart. And just kind of watch it to make sure it takes away the, the smaller one. Delete all this. Well, we're not going to delete it. We're going to do what we did a while ago. And I didn't grab it all. We'll put it near that other one. Just in case we need it again. Which I don't think we will. So this is a group. Let's zoom in here. Grab it right there in the center and put that thing on the center. Control D and make a duplicate. 22 and a half degrees. I did not move my rotation to the center. And sometimes Corel is kind of hard headed, but it is in the center. Rotate it 22 and a half degrees. Control D. 45 degrees. So this new way compared to the way I did it before is saving a lot of steps. I was decontouring each individual one. Bring our new shape into the outside. Voila, we have layer three. We only need two more layers and I'm not going to take your time. So control D, make a duplicate of it. Let's control G and make a group, then do duplicate of it. And there's your three layers. And then just do, you could do, this would be four layers. I did six. Uh, you could do more. Now, one thing you've got to consider when I was drawing this, this is pretty big. This is 18 inches. Okay. That's going to take up a lot of wood. These are only 7.2 inches. So what you can do is after you get all your layers, here's your four layers and let's, you can wait till you get to six. And it's kind of because I like it drawing bigger. And then select them all. Let's zoom in here. And you're not going to change anything because these are hairlines. And let's just reduce it down. They're all still going to fit. And now this one's 10. Just depend on how long you want to cut, how much laser time you have or free time. That's 9.2 inches. They're still equal. And you can test it by, this is a group, so we're going to put it in the center of the page. This is a group, center of the page. And you can kind of tell by the contours, the double contours, that everything still matches. So resize it, especially for your first one. You know, one that most, a lot of people don't have an 18 inch laser bed. So you could start off really small. Now, the only thing wrong with really small is you're going to get, you know, not much room for contours. But I did share this file on Epilogue's Facebook page and, I, and my file share page in you're more than welcome to cut them out and use them because I know they work. Anyway, that was a fun project. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.